Please come back, Sasuke. No. All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? You guys got the Barkage of the Andy Gaines Village here today. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down my training schedule. We're going to take you guys through a sample week. Uh, kind of what, kind of show you guys what that looks like. Now, with that said, I do want to point out there's a lot of different ways to train, you know, schedule a training program. So this is what works for me. It might not work for you. You never know. I'm not saying this is the number one superior way to train. I'm just saying that this is how I do it. So <clears throat> yeah, let's get right into it. So basically I train uh, full body every other day, no matter what. Um, so that's full body every other day. And then on the rest days in between, I'm usually doing some sort of mobility work or maybe like a light walk. But for the most part, it's just a complete rest day. So just wanted to clear that up. Now let's move into what I actually do for the workouts. So like I said, I train every other day. Let's say for the sample week, this is a week where I'm training on starting on Monday. So it starts off with the skills. Now I've said this before, the skill training is my number one motivation for training. It's why I train calisthenics to learn the skills. Now, so there's two types of skill days for me, straight arm focus and bent arm focus. Now on a straight arm focus day, I'll still do a little bit of bent arm work just because I like to, just psychologically for me, I like to feel like I'm doing a little something every single sesh. But yes, for the most part, we got the straight arm focus and the bent arm focus. Now, so let's say it's Monday and I'm starting with straight arm focus. Well, <clears throat> straight arm focus, that basically means planche work. And uh, you guys know I'm working on the Maltese right now. So, so we got the planche work slash the Maltese. Um, and then, so for that, I'll do presses, um, you know, some push-ups maybe, and then just regular holds. That's like the hardcore straight arm focus day presses and then some holds. And then, so straight arm focus day, I would still do a little bit of bent arm work. Like I said, but that's going to be a lot lighter. That's going to be basically, uh, five by five of pseudo Hephaestos. Bent arm basically means Hephaesto work. So that's kind of how that works. So then let's say we move to Wednesday. Now it's a light straight arm day and a bent arm focus day. So that's going to be hardcore festo work. Basically, I'm going to do as many singles as I can, plus some negatives and <clears throat> even more pseudo. So we have the straight arm focus, we have the bent arm focus. Like I said, so if Monday is straight arm focus, that means Wednesday is going to be bent arm focus. Uh, Friday is going to be straight arm focus as well. Then Sunday we've got more bent arm focus. So that's how I program the skills in there. One more thing I do want to mention though, with the planches, I do train different variations. So um, on one straight arm sesh, I'll focus completely on maybe the straight bar. And then another straight arm sesh will be dedicated to the floor. And then another one will be P bar. So I switch that up every time. It's good to add a lot of variation into your training. So that's the skill work. Now let's get into the actual workout. So it's Monday. We have finished the skills. Now we're ready to start training. We are starting with push. So if I start with push on Monday, that means Wednesday, I'm going to be starting with pull. Friday, I'm going to be starting with push. And then Sunday, <clears throat> obviously, we'll start with pull. So, so for my push workouts, what do I do? Okay. Well, you guys have actually seen the uh, raw push workout footage, and you guys have also seen a pull video. I might make uh, some other ones because <clears throat> it's been a while since I posted that. But anyway, yes, so push workout. Yes, so we have the push workout. We're going to start with muscle-ups. I've already explained why I see muscle-ups as a push because you're going around the bar instead of straight up. So I really feel like my triceps the entire time when I'm doing muscle-ups, and obviously you, know you have the straight bar dip, which is chest and triceps. So I'll kick things off, set of muscle ups, boom. <clears throat> After that, I will move on to some clean handstand push up work. Uh, with this, I'll do a little bit of variation. I'll mix up between doing uh, regular grip and diamond grip. Been really getting better at my diamond grip uh, handstand push up. So I definitely would like to showcase that in a future push workout video. So look out for that. So, yes. Diamond handstand push-ups, regular handstand push-ups, kind of a vertical pull thing. So that's why I do that. Next, we move on. We finish the workout with a nice dip compound set. I've got like three of them that I'll sub out each day. So the difference between compound sets and supersets. 
supersets, you're doing opposing muscle groups, compound sets, you're doing the exact same. So I do compound sets. So an example of one of these compound sets is uh, straight bar dips with a pronated grip, then supinated <clears throat> uh, straight bar dips, and then we move to the uh, push-ups. And for my push-ups, I'll do, I'll go down, pause, up, hold for five seconds, back down, hold for five, like pause push-ups kind of. And then after that, that's the end of the workout. Then I'll do, you know, a little bit of leg work, you know, pistol squats, regular squats. You know, I don't really, legs aren't really focused on my training. You guys should probably know that by now, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. So it's just pistol squats, regular squats, and then I move on to the pull workout. So the pull work will either start with uh, front lever work or back lever work. It doesn't really matter. I just kind of pick one <clears throat> to start with. So let's say on this day, I'm starting with the front lever. So front lever. Boom, my favorite are the full front lever pulls. So basically with these, basically with these, you go up, hold for, uh, you go up into a front lever, hold for like two seconds, pull all the way to the inverted hang, back down, hold for another two seconds, and then back to the top of the bar, <clears throat> and then back to front lever and do that for reps. So I usually do sets of, you know, two to three. You know, keep in mind, I've already done, you know, an entire push workout and some skill work before this. So three reps is usually pretty good for me. Do sets of five, do five sets of that. Then we move on to the back lever. Huge focus of my training right now with back lever is back lever pull-ups, which I've actually been getting pretty good at. So I'm going to have to feature that in a future pull workout video because I really like doing back lever pull-ups and I'm starting to really get good at them. I think it's because of my FESO training, but I don't know. So yeah, so I'll actually start trying to go for some full back lever pull-ups. Usually can do, uh, honestly, sometimes I do like sets of five on them, but normally it's around like sets of three. And then I'll do like tuck back lever pull-ups uh, and, and maybe even some German hang pull-ups as well. And then just a couple back lever holds for the back lever work. And then after that, I'll move on to whatever front lever uh, pull-up drill I'm doing. So normally that's the negative one that I demonstrated in my front lever pull-up tutorial video where I start in a muscle position, lower down into a touch front lever, and then go all the way down and then advance tucked <coughs> front lever pull-ups. So then after that... I will move on to regular pull-ups or I'll do another compound set of wide grip pull-ups plus L-sit chin-ups and that is the entire pull workout. So hope this video was helpful in <clears throat> kind of giving you guys a little guide onto how I train. Like I said, full body workouts every other day with the rest days being for mobility reasons. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you guys like this video, please uh, leave a thumbs up and thank you to all my subscribers and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces!